All right, guys, how's it going? It's 11th of February, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, I've got half a cup of coffee, it's dark, I'm wearing sunglasses. Let's hit it. It's your unofficial Blender news. So straight up, we have Blender 2.8 to Beacon 4, all on track for the final release this Thursday. So expect to see something drop on Thursday, and there's a few kind of mentions here. Code Quality Day, not entirely sure what that is, is it like a fun day you have with code? I'm not sure. Participation was a little bit low, but everybody had a good time, so nice one. And Tracker Curfew, Rhythm slowed down a little bit last week, and I kind of like this honest approach. Look, not everything in life is peachy, so if you're honest with people, they generally tend to respect it a little bit more. But this is the thing people are interested in, changes in new features, and there's quite a couple of nice ones here to be honest. 3D viewport, improved selection with many small objects in a 3D viewport, thank god. You know how hard it is when you're like, click, 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 select the goddamn object, click, click. So when objects are smaller than a pixel, you can now select them, yay. Support view roll axis and align views, nice one Campbell. Modifiers, invert vertex group, option for warp, lattice, curve and smooth modifiers. Fluids, various UI tweaks and improved obstacle boundary handling. And this is quite nice that they're actually still working on fluids. I mean, you've kind of got mantra kind of hanging in the background, like a, a wicked stepmother and... Obviously you've got flip fluid, so it's nice to see these them get improved. Cycles, improved denoising passes for specular. Nice one. Sequencer, options to include handles in the box selection, and there's a few key map preferences. Uh, one to swap 3D orbit slash pan actions, and preference for relative slash absolute alt middle mouse navigation. And in terms of user interface, they now invert the toolbar icon colours for light toolbar button backgrounds. And I actually did notice a few conflicts in terms of the theme, so... Nice to see these improvements. And that's pretty much your Blender developing meeting notes. And that was for the 10th of February. And just as a little bit of extra news, Blender just released their download count. <sighs> Holy shit, man. Over 10 million downloads. That is a lot, especially for an application. And this is quite an interesting start for me because I like to see markets, yearly website users. It went from 4 million in 2007 to nearly 16 million in 2019 and you can actually see they kind of inverted and then started to flag here so the good chances they're going to actually blow that market but anyway good stuff and just to give you guys a heads up book cover design contest 25 blender prizes available so if you want to design something for 3d model haven win yourself a prize get yourself published you're more than welcome to join in remember all the links in the description down below and just one last bit of news, there's a Blender meetup on February the 18th. Remember kids, if you can't be good, be careful. And that's in Idaho, and obviously that's America, so I can't make it. Sorry boys. So let's move on to tutorials, and this one's from CG Cookie. If you want professional training in terms of Blender, you're not going to get much better than Blender Cookie to be honest. And this is Digital Sculpting in Blender 2.8, and it's a course trailer. Next one up, Weighted Normal Blender 2.8x tutorial, and this is from Gleb Alexandrov, and he kind of shows you the difference of how Weighted Normals actually influence a mesh. This is a new contender, and this is from Alpha Turi 3D Graphics, 3D modeling and animation, milestone 3 of biomedical video production. Now I do a lot of medical video productions, and I know how much of a nightmare this can be, and sometimes Blender comes in handy, and so does Adini. So does any application when you're doing 3D medical animation. So anyway, check this video out. Go and subscribe to the guy's channel. He's got very little. And this one's from AskNK, who likes to copy me. Blender 2.82 add-ons and file system tips. <laughs> and this is from Digital School Online. 100 Blender 2.8 tips you might not know. So if you're looking for some Blender tips, you've got over an hour here to sit back and chill. Good video mate, actually, I did check. And we also have another contender in the ring, and this is from Frederick Hoffman. And this is how to create a mountain in Blender in 10 minutes. And then we move on to the Avengers, and this is Blender Nest by Jen, Baby Yoda and Hollywood. And obviously it's a kind of podcast with a couple of members. And next one is up from Ducky3D, create easy stylized text with nodes in Blender. Ducky's always delivers, so you know how good it's going to be. And Blender Mania, Blender Tutorial, animate a growing effect with particle system. Check that one out as well. And the next tutorial is from CG Matter, so you want to make sponges in Blender. And it basically shows you how to make a sponge material. And let's just move it on to the fun part, and let's look at add-ons. 
F-Curve Helper version 1.0 is available for free. I'll put the link in the description down below. There's also a video supporting this in case you're interested. And this actually just came to me in a comment a couple of hours ago. I'd made an add-on that kind of does isometric views. And this guy's actually recommended a plugin here that actually does that separately. It lets you create isometric cameras for Blender. And this is a commercial plugin. I always do like to kind of throw one in there in the mix. And it's on Blender Market. Backup Object version 1.0. What is Backup Object? Backup Object is a workflow add-on for easily creating backups of an object with a click of a button. Let me grab my coffee here. Now, what's the difference between copy and pasting? I'm not sure. If you've downloaded it, let me know if it's any good and I might give it a review. And this one's Node Custom Builder. I actually did review this one myself and I thought I would put focus on it again because it's pretty damn good. And it basically lets you create a preset system for nodes. And let's move on to Animation of the Week. Animation of the Week! Mixing hand on 2D with 3D. And this is beautiful, man. And this is by Vincent Albersberg. I hope I said that right, mate. Gorgeous animation. Just mwah, superb. Link in the description. I highly recommend you go and check it out. And Artist of the Week. And this is from somebody I cannot pronounce. There's a shock. And this is Grog the Adventurer rendered in Eve. And I really like this render. Beautiful render, great character, nice pose. And that's been your unofficial Blender news. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, I've got no mates, you know what to do.